One VFC MPX. They are shit. They're shit. They're shit. The internals are shit. They are shit. They are shit. VFC internals are shit. Shit. Don't buy them. They're shit. Do you understand? This one lasted a week and it died because they're shit. Watch, 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 look, look, nothing. Nothing, nothing happens. It's a VFC, nothing happens. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. The fuse is fine, there's no problem, the fuse is perfect. The battery connection is on there, but it doesn't work because it's VFC and they're shit. I like it because the externals. You wouldn't say, yeah, that's like going out with a supermodel. Yeah, the outsides, you might like the look of it. Give it 10 years and it won't be in fashion anymore and no one's going to like the look of it and it's going to be all fucked up, scuffed and nasty. And the inside of those things are absolutely abysmal. Terribly looked after. Barely work. Same thing. Gun and fanboys, lay it on me. Tell me all about the VFC fucking goodness. Just explain it. Explain it away. Explain it away. I'm sure there's loads of really good reasons why this brand new gun fucking looks this way. You know, it's got to be common sense, right? It's got to be common sense. Why does it fucking look this way if it's not an absolute heap of smouldering turd? Look at that, completely burnt out. Oh, it's okay because it's one of the new ones. Fuck you, look at it. That burnt out because the gears fucking went and the piston went and the cylinder scratched. It, it's shit. It's just shit. It's such a load of shit. Calm blue ocean. Calm blue ocean. Calm blue ocean. Calm blue ocean. I have extended this little holy holy here at an angle. I'm going to keep both the wires in there so none have to pass by here. Why they don't do that as standard, I don't fucking know, but that's, you know. Doesn't make any sense, but that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully that will fit the MPX pistol grip a lot nicer. And you've also got some solid steely bushings at the top there, isn't that lovely? I had a customer drop off another gun, uh, not worked for him in a little while, but the MP5 I did for him, I think it ends up on my channel, possibly, but I did that fucking gun years ago. Anyway, he's still using it and happy, and he's uh, watching me toil over the nonsense that is this pistol grip. However, the gun is done. It's firing at a very nice power. For this length of barrel, realistically, it's a CQB gun. You don't need it doing more than 300, which is what it's doing. It's doing like 305 on a 0.2 uh, with the hop set for two fives. But as you know, Allen key in the back, twisty twisty, fucking change spring if you want to, easy. Everything on the inside is gone. He's got a new piston, piston head, cylinder, cylinder head, nozzle. I kept the tappet plate. I kept two of the original uh, bearing bushings, the rest are solid steel, 13 to 1, short stroke by four teeth, because you don't need a lot of volume for this gun. It's got a G&G Ifrit motor, because these pistol grips prefer the G&G Ifrits, the way the, the can sits, the length of the shaft, the shape of the pinion, G&G Ifrit all day long. And it's got, obviously, a Perrin hybrid, because they're awesome. This is a 7.4 20C Lipo. And that is with no pre-cocking. No sense trying to stress the battery. Double tap. Saw two bullets. Went double tap. But with everything I've done to it, it's going to be more than happy rocking an 11-1. But mine's not charged yet, so there you go. If you like the look of the gun, great, but at the moment, although I've not seen one, I'd still be saying get the gas blow back, because even if that doesn't work, it's still working better than the fucking AEGs that come out of the VFC place, so, yeah. I don't hate it as much as I do as the MCX, but I really, really, it's just this. This is horrendous. I've got little bits of trickery that I do with these. Do you like to know what it is? I ain't gonna tell you. Go on then, 11-1. Double tap. Is now set for three. If you must know, if you want to know, fuck it. 
GNG effort motor is the main point of this. The way that this wants to sit with the motor in at that angle, but the pistol grip is sitting at this fucking angle. It's a fucking shit show. So what you do is you run both of your wires out the front of the gearbox casing. There's no sense running a wire underneath the motor and bringing it out the back to sit in this crappy little groove here. You are better off bringing both the wires out the front and running both the wires up the front of the pistol grip. You've got the insert with a little strut on it. Get that strut and cut it off to about there. That base part, the base plate is still gonna be holding onto your motor perfectly tight and snug. And obviously with the second plate that is locking, so you've got there and there, the whole thing is held lovely and secure. And then you can have your motor in there at a slightly different angle. The way they set this up is just fucking awful. It's just not good. But as you heard, that is absolutely lovely. Fuck off. <laughs>